Welcome to another Six Patterns video. My name is Max. I'm Kevin. And this is our final of our top 25 pearls of pulmonary pathology. And this actually is a special case because we'll be giving away a textbook with this case. Not to you guys. Not to you guys. You guys just to get to, get, you get to enjoy the case. But at a different conference, we'll be giving away a textbook associated with this case. But it's a very illustrative case. Right. So this comes from a 65-year-old man. Yeah. With a history of smoking, who presents with recurrent pleural effusions and has a wedge biopsy done. Recurrent pleural effusions. Wedge biopsy. Let's recurrent think about pleural that effusion, a wedge biopsies. But even, I mean, before you want to think about that, I mean, I look at this and I say, that's a big area of honeycomb. Yeah. In fact... That's not even microscopic honeycomb anymore. That's almost a big macroscopic cyst. So macroscopic this honeycomb. This is a fibrosis cyst. problem. This is a massive fibrosis problem. And we we talked about in the UIP video about how the fibrosis of UIP is peripheral and subpleural. Right. And we talked so about can't how get any better than that. There are sharp demarcations yeah. between the advanced fibrosis and the normal lung parenchyma. Yeah. I mean that's as it's sharp as, as it can get. get right. right? Yeah. And if we look around here... It's over and over again. It's not just one. It's yeah, it's not just them. one lobule. It's every lobule is involved. And if we look around, we'll find some fibroblast foci. So this got sent in. It's classic UIP. Except there's one problem. And the patient had classic UIP on the imaging studies. Except there was pleural effusion. And then you go back and you remember there was pleural effusion. So the biopsy wasn't done for... UIP. They already knew the patient had UIP of IPF based on the clinical presentation of radiology. But the, the new pleural effusions was done yeah. for the recurrent new pleural effusions. So that's a whole that's an unexpected finding with UIP. So they're scratching their head. They are scratching okay. their head. So pleural effusion, and we yeah. start looking at the pleural surface. Yep, yeah. a little jazzed up. <laughs> a, li a little jazzed up. Yep, yeah. that's. That's, that's pretty jazzy. It, that's putting it mildly. But if you look at that fibrosis, you're really thinking, hey, I got, I finally got a case of UIP. Exactly. Are you really going to pay attention to that pleura that's a little jazzy? You probably won't. But if you did take some time to pay attention to this area of the pleura, you might start to be a little bit concerned that maybe it's not just UIP of IPF. It looks maybe, a little, maybe it's an adenocarcinoma. Maybe it's an adenocarcinoma. We keep going along here. And this, I think, is the... The diagnostic area. Oh, wow. We okay. have this papillary, papillary. proliferation on yeah. the surface. And we've but got... not only that, but we have these epithelioid cells that are infiltrating into the smooth muscle bundles of the smooth muscle metaplasia and the fibrosis of, of usual interstitial pneumonia of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. So this is a twofer. The double diagnosis. And that brings up our final pearl in this series of the top 25 pearls of pulmonary pathology. Which is? And that is beware the double diagnosis. And sometimes you can't help it. But if you have a little bit of clinical history, like this case, pleural effusion, remember your biopsy always has to explain the clinical presentation. And you might say, well, yeah, but maybe patients with UIP of IPF get pleural effusions. And it turns out you ask a thousand radiologists and they'll tell you, you never see it. It doesn't happen. So this is a beautiful case of usual interstitial pneumonia of pulmonary of of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Complicated by? Complicated by a malignant mesothelioma epithelioid type. Wow. Which is the etiology of this recurrent. I can see why this is a bonus case deserving a textbook if you diagnose it. Absolutely. So, hope you enjoyed this quick uh, little case, the twofer. There's a whole slew of twofers out there, and maybe one day we'll do a whole series on twofers. Yeah, like 10 twofers. 10 twofers. <laughs> Duffers. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a fantastic uh, video. So we'll put it on the list. So like, like us if you do, and subscribe. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Thanks.